As if canceling Dr. Seuss wasn't stupid enough. Hello, this is Mara Jade. I'm here with another video, and according to an article I found on Bounding Into Comics, Scholastic removes book by Captain Underpants creator Dav should be Pilkey, not Pikey, from publication, claims title, quote, perpetuates passive racism. Yes, you read that correctly, folks. A book entitled The Adventures of Ook and Gluck, Kung Fu Cavemen from the Future, is passively racist. Go fucking figure. How is it passively racist according to the perpetually triggered? Well, let's dive into this and you can get a gauge of the stupidity. So without further ado, let's go into it. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Seuss Enterprises, children's book publishers Scholastic Reading has announced that they will be removing the second graphic novel from Captain Underpants author Dav Pilkey, The Adventures of Ook and Gluck, Kung Fu Cavemen from the Future, on the grounds that the title, quote, perpetuates passive racism. Who oh boy. It's a book entitled Ook and Gluck, for fuck's sakes. In a statement issued on March 22nd, Scholastic Reading issued a statement announcing that they had, quote, halted distribution of the 2010, it's from 10 book, The Adventures of Ook and Gluck, editors, do your jobs. As a publisher and Pilkey had come to, quote, recognize that this book perpetuates passive racism. Quote, we are deeply sorry for this serious mistake, the publisher continued. Scholastic has removed the book from our website, stopped fulfillment of any orders domestically or abroad. So teachers are fucking screwed if they ordered this. Con contacted our retail partners to explain why this book is no longer available and sought to return of all inventory. A return, so... <sighs> A book from 11 years ago, over a decade ago. Is being cancelled. They further noted that they will also, quote, take steps to inform schools and libraries who may still have this title in circulation of our decision to withdraw it from publication. Why does it fucking matter? At this point, I'm asking, why? Because guaranteed, you're going to have this situation happen in the libraries and schools pulling it from their shelves in response. In an apology video released by Pilkey to his own personal YouTube channel, big fucking mistake, the author revealed that it was the depiction of Ook and Gluck's Kung Fu teacher, Master Wong, as an elderly, wise Asian teacher that caused them to pull the title. There it fucking is, folks. The depiction of Master Wong, an elderly, wise Asian teacher. That's passively racist. God forbid... These people who are bitching and pissing and moaning over a children's book watch any shows like, I don't know, uh, Kung Fu, The Legend Continues with David Carradine? Or how about a little uh, goofy, objectively bad movie called Bulletproof Monk with Chow Yun-Fat and Sean William Scott? And then the other litany of depictions of the Kung Fu master being wise and or elderly. Up until this point, in the current evolution of humanity, and I say evolution very, very lately at this point because we are now in a de-evolution stage, no one fucking cared. At all. No one fucking cared. Do we exactly like every depiction? No, but we just simply said, I don't like it, and moved on. We didn't try to cancel anything. It's these people that somehow grew up with South Park. Who are doing this shit? About 10 years ago, I created a book about a group of friends who saved the world using Kung Fu and the principles found in Chinese philosophy, wrote Pilkey in his apology. It should be life lessons, universal messages. That should be the focus here, not the representation of a particular character who, in itself, has been depicted in that way through multiple mediums. The Adventures of Ook and Gluck, Kung Fu Cavemen from the Future, was intended to showcase diversity, equality, and non-violent conflict resolution. Well, doesn't fucking matter at this point. Doesn't fucking matter because they did not like the depiction of one character. One character who, in no way, was in all made to be racist. But you, Pilkey, made the big fucking mistake of doing this. 
You just put blood in the water. You just put blood in the water. Now they're going to go after every fucking book you've ever written. Garen fucking tea it. Garen fucking tea it, Dav. You made a big fucking mistake doing this. He added, but this week it was brought to my attention that this book also contains harmful racial stereotypes and passively racist imagery. Buzzwords. Pretty much fucking buzzwords at this point. Dog whistles for the perpetually triggered. I wanted to take this opportunity to publicly apologize for this. It was and is wrong and harmful to my Asian readers, friends, and family, and to all Asian people. How much do you want to fucking bet that no one complaining about this book is Asian, or at the very least, it is a slim, slim minority who are complaining. I can just about guarantee even fucking money at this point. Those complaining are white liberals. No, I should say white leftists, because they've hijacked the word liberal. White leftists, white saviors, white people speaking on behalf of the quote-unquote oppressed. Do they bother to ask the quote-unquote oppressed if they are actually oppressed or not? No, they just speak for them. That in itself is racist. But yet they cannot say that. My publisher, Scholastic, has stepped forward to share my responsibility, oh good fucking for them, and together we are ceasing all further publication of the adventures of Wook and Gluck, Kung Fu Cavemen from the future, and actively working to remove existing copies from retail and library shelves, Pilkey stated. Nanny state tactics, pretty much. Nanny state tactics, determining what is and is not appropriate for people. Never mind that the people themselves can make that determination. No, the nanny state has to do it for them. I hope that you, my readers, will forgive me. No, because you're a fucking idiot. And learn from my mistake that even unintentional and passive stereotypes and racism is harmful to everyone. So basically, unintentional, meaning that you don't even know you're being racist and you're racist. You're not even intending to be racist and you're racist. This is the culture we're in now. This is the culture we're in now. He concluded, I apologize and I pledge to do better. I take responsibility. He might as well have said. Adding a postscript to his apology... Pilkey also noted that despite this controversy among a full 11 years after the book was initially published, he and his wife would pledge to donate all my advance and royalties for this, the sale of the adventures of Oop and Gluck, Kung Fu Cavemen from the future, to charities that provide free books, art supplies, and theater for children in undeserved communities, or underserved communities, organizations that promote diversity in children's books and publishing, and organizations designed to stop Asian hatred. If you really truly cared about that, Pilkey, why haven't you been doing this up to this point? Why haven't you not been donating, not all, but some of your royalties and advances in this name? You're being guilted into doing this for no good reason, I might add, but you're being guilted into doing this. And you doing this is in no way going to assuage the triggered. They don't care. You are now guilty forever and fucking ever and the fact that you even apologized is an admittance of guilt to these people. The fact that you're doing this as a way to mitigate your <laughs> imaginary sin? Again, you're going to be guilty for as long as you live because of this one book that is in no way, was in no way racist, but yet white leftists, and I'm guaranteeing they were white leftists, were triggered decided to speak on behalf of oppressed people, never asked those oppressed people if they were truly oppressed or angered by this, and now you just basically put blood in the water. I do not feel sorry for you in the slightest at this point, because if you had been at all, at all, had any cojones, you would have said, there's nothing racist in this book, you are fucking idiots. That's what you should have said. You probably would have been nicer about it, but that's essentially what you should have said. But you didn't. You didn't. And you made an apology, kind of an apology tour, and, well, guess what they do. The charities Pilkey will be donating to include We Need Diverse Books, the AAPI, and Theater Works USA, among others. Oh. Oh, my God. 
What do you make of Scholastic and Pilkey's decision to remove the adventures of Ook and Gluck, Kung Fu Cavemen from the future, from publication? Let us know your thoughts on social media or in the comments down below. So there it is, folks. There is the idiocy on full display once again. They go after Dr. Seuss first, and now they go after an 11-year-old book. An 11-year-old book about fucking cavemen named Ook and Gluck who do kung fu. Just because their master happens to be a wise Haitian man is cause for alarm. Where were these people 11 years ago? Where were these people 11 years ago? Guaranteed, guaranteed, a lot of them, a lot of them probably didn't care until that bandwagon started circulating with the cancel culture. And now they want to jump on it because they have to feel triggered. They have to feel angry about something. They just have to be. No matter what, no matter how stupid it is, they have to feel like they're taking up some sort of cause, no matter how imaginary it is. I just cannot even right now. I cannot even. Cannot even. Part of me wants to find this and buy it for my niece. That's what I want to do. Actually, that's probably what I am going to fucking do at this point. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think this is completely stupid, like me? Or do you agree with Scholastic and Dev Pilkey? Let me know down in the comments if you like this video. Leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. We we can't have any nice things anymore. We can't have any nice things. And now, Ook and Gluck have been pretty much officially cancelled. So, until then, like, share, subscribe. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side. And... Fuck you, Scholastic.